Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, when he started talking about, you know, we're, we're, we've been the pioneers and we're the, we're, we're the rebels and we're the people that don't cut down the tall trees and you go as high as you want. I, I don't know if that stuff doesn't sell, especially in a gloomy moment. I thought it, I thought it was effective at, that, at, at, at points. I thought the regular Joes were effective. Um, but then again, I don't know how many people were watching <laughs> You know, how many people, how many people, I mean, you, you checked out the ratings, Rick. I don't know how many people were watching it. As I watched it, I wondered how many people had their computer screens tuned into this. Um, but the, the, for me watching at the end, the end was um, like watching a super spreader event in the, uh, in the last, you know, as, as he, as he went on and on with his talk and they kept panning to the audience maskless and I'm in New York and it's very unusual to see maskless people and it just it, it was like wow it's like a game show on epidemiology or something where <laughs> you know super spreaders are uh you know well will who's survive you know survivor covid or something with the game show <laughs> front end. and I don't know I don't know how many people are I would love to see the numbers on that when that if that when they start sure. coming down with it um, but you're right. It was, it was selling positivity. It was, uh, you know, the fireworks, nice fireworks, Chinese, probably. What do you yeah. make of well, it? You, you also had guys. Yep. I'm sorry. You also had guys like uh, Wilbur Ross and Rudy Giuliani in the audience, right in the demo for COVID. Oh, Rudy. I'm thinking, like, like, Wilbur Ross is like looking, looking like he's always come sweet angel of death and take me now. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. Well, yes. Wil Wilbur is not a guy who should go out without a mask. Right. I, I, no. I, I, yeah. yeah. So, what do you make of the the uh, attack on the the suburbs? I've never heard that tactic before. They're going to destroy the suburbs. You know, uh, what can what can destroy suburbs? Crabgrass? I mean, I grew up in the suburbs. I feel like I live in the, the suburban kind of area now. I love the suburbs. I've never was a person who I lived in New York twice. I, it's a great city, but I don't like living in a building. I don't like knowing the people on right on the other side of the wall. Uh, how do you destroy the suburbs? What, what, I don't, I can't even, I don't even know what they're talking about. Can you decipher that for me? I, I, this is a, go ahead, Nina. I think that, you know, from the very beginning of the pandemic, their step, their, the way that they handled it, stepping back was really aimed at um, chaos and bread riots and, and exactly what BLM has delivered to them. Um, and that is, their, that was their strategy to, you know, you hear him talking about suburban housewives. It's like a Larry Flint um, hustler spread or something going through his swamp. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, suburban yeah. housewives, we've got to get those suburban housewives frightened. And all they need is video. They just need video like the stuff that was going on in Washington the other day of the BLM kids in front of the restaurants. Oh, can I show um, that? I, I have that piece of video. If people don't know, it's Black Lives Matter protesters, all white that I saw, uh, <laughs> who are it's harassing like the this. It's like in woke costume. Yeah, they're harassing this woman who's eating, wanting to make her raise her fist in solidarity with their cause, which I believe she was in solidarity with. It's just that she was eating, I think, and she's <laughs> she's basically saying, "Look, I, I, I'm eating." Uh, let me show the video and then we can talk about it. 